Hey guys, in this video we're going to create my favorite widget and that is the notify widget which we can use to send a message every time we pick up the item or you can tell us that our inventory is full or later on like crafting items and stuff so it has a lot of different uses. First thing we need to do is go to third person and blueprints in your widgets let's create a new one so right click user interface and create widget blueprint click on user widget and this will be notify box underscore w for widget open this up in here we need to create canvas panel as always and we will create vertical box this vertical box size x will be uh, 200 and size y will be 500 and we need to anchor it to the side so hold ctrl and shift and anchor it to the right side to the middle now we also want this box to be outside of the screen so we can later slide in the notifications in the screen so just select alignment and change it to zero i will move it outside of the screen compile and save don't have to do anything here now in our play blueprint find the event begin play and here after sp spawn preview actor you can just uh, create widget the widget is the notify box drag from return value promote to variable this will be notify box reference so ref and then we need to add it to viewport so add to viewport so as soon as the game starts we will spawn this widget you won't see anything in here because first of all it's outside of the screen and second of all it's empty uh, so compile and save and now we can create our notify but first what we can do actually is create one more enumerator so right click blueprints enumeration this will be notify type so later on we can do selection of what we want to actually notify the player about so open it up for now we can add the first one which will be just pick up and it will be for picking up items second one will be for inventory is full or oh, just inventory full save it you can close this and now what we can do is create our notify widget so go to widget create one more user interface and widget blueprint this one is notify underscore widget open it up and here we need to add canvas panel and this time we'll add border we'll make the border size x uh, maybe 400 and size y will be 50 uh, let's add canvas panel so we can add more stuff to this border and now add image and text so the image size will be 50 times 50 um, click on the canvas panel make sure the padding is zero so it's not overlapping and now text block will be whatever the size of the border is minus the image so 350 x350 and size y will be 50 then move the position x to 50 and now we can go to border change the tint to something darker i like simple colors so just almost black and then alpha to 0 0.8 so it's a little bit see-through now we can style the text block so size of the font will be maybe 18 now it will be light we can do italic maybe yeah italic looks fine uh, nothing else here we just need to type in margin and 
maybe to like 10 and I will move it to the middle so the image here will be just showing us what we're actually doing so if it's picking up items we can just do like loot bug or something so compile and save we'll set it later we can also while we're here just rename this to uh, notify image and make sure it's a variable and this text block is a notify text and it is a variable as well compile and save now we can go to graph we need to create two variables so first one is item info so this notify knows what we're picking up for example so it will be type item info s and we will create one more variable which is notify type and that will be the enumerator that we created notify type e and now both of these needs to be instance editable and exposed on spawn compile and save so we can set it easier and now in a player blueprint we can just create a new function so go to functions click on a plus icon and this will be create notify here we will just create widget the widget we're creating is the notify widget not the box and now since we did the expose on spawn variables we have them here uh, what we can do is drag from here and add pin to node so it will create input do the same thing for notify type and now after we create the notify we need to get our notify box notify box reference and add the child so we'll add it to this notify box except for we can't can add it directly here we need to add it to the vertical box which is uh, select that it is as a variable compile and save go back to our function and now from notify box reference just drag in and get a vertical box and now we'll add child and the child we're adding is the notify widget so now every time we call this function it will create a notify and it will add it to that notify box that already exists off screen and now we just need to need a way to move it inside the screen so go to your notify widget in the designer click on the border here and now down here we got tab called animations so click on animations uh, you can dock it in layout otherwise every time you click on something it will switch off and it's very annoying so dock it in layout and now click on this plus icon make sure the border is selected this one will be our slide in animation uh, so what we're going to do is this will be the key one so this will be the normal so it will be the first frame so what we can do is here in alignment you just add keyframe for this property with this little square that is here and now that added the alignment and now we move it to the one second and we change the alignment to one which is moves it to the left side and we will press on this add keyframe again and that will create the animation of sliding so if you play it it will slide in this whole border now compile and save now what we can do is in graph we will do on construct or we can actually do pre-construct so open the pre-construct here and now oh new you know what never mind just go to construct delete the pre-construct and a tick 
and here we will as soon as it spawns we will play, play this animation so get animation we can create custom event for it so add custom event this will be play or slide in we can name it the same way as the animation so slide notify and we'll call it as soon as we construct it so uh, slide notify and what we're going to do is you drag in this animation so we got the slide in and now we will play the animation and what I want to change is playback speed because when it's sliding in we should see it like almost instantly so I'll make it faster I'll double the speed so two then we will do delay we'll do delay like maybe three seconds so we can read what is actually on the message and after that delay we can slide it back so we can play animation connect this slide in as well so copy it and paste it here to animation this time we will play it in reverse so it slides back and play it back speed can be still a bit faster but I'll put it on 1.5 and after it sl slides back we can maybe add another delay because otherwise it will just disappear during the animation so we can add delay it will be another three seconds and after that we will remove from parent and we will remove ourselves which will effectively destroy us destroy this widget compile and save and now what we can do as well while we're here so after this animation is running actually maybe even before we need to set the image which we don't have at the moment so we'll just set text we'll set text and what we can do is first get this notify type we'll switch on notify type connect it here And now if you're picking up the items, we will just set this text to, uh, we need append, so append and look for string. And we, we can say, uh, pick up, no, looted and space. And here you can t connect uh, item info, get item info, break it open and it will be the name so it will tell us what we loot so, so we loot it, iron sword and that we can connect to the text and now if the inventory is full we can just copy this and we can just say inventory is full exclamation mark and after both of these just connect the slide notify compile and save and now we just need to call this create notify function that we made and we can go to our play blueprint and pick up item and in here so on the end we also have here inventory full print string so we can replace this print string with uh, notify create notify uh, for inventory is full we will just select inventory is full and we don't need item info because we're not saying anything else apart from this and then from these two when we're adding to the stack or when we adding to the inventory we're still picking up the items so we can just drag and create notify and we will connect it there and here as well 
and we'll do pickup and the item info we got the one that we passed to this function so we can just get item info and connect it to the end compile and save and now let's see so now if we pick up the item we have a sliding notify you pick up a few of them and they will slowly start disappearing and as soon as they disappear the rest of them move up so that is how you create the notify i don't think we need anything else uh, i included the image uh, that you can use for picking up items in the description of this video so you can download it and add it yourself uh, all you have to do here is go to your notify and then we can actually just add it here because we for now we only going to be using this message so we can change this image and change it to the one in the link all right that's it for this video i'll see you in the next one bye